It's something we might take for granted. Many people in the United States, uh, all, most all the people in the United States have access. They turn the tap, they get free flowing safe water. That problem is what Robert Adamski of Water for People brought to the attention of an audience at USF. Every day 6,000 people, mostly children, die from waterborne disease. Um, so that's the worst effect. Mr. Adamski's presentation was sponsored by USF's Patel Center for Global Solutions. We have many members of our faculty who are interested in research related to water. So some of the faculty who were present for the presentation are from the natural sciences, some are from engineering, the health sciences, and education. Dr. Castor says the center's mission is to assist impoverished nations with these issues. We hope to be working in the country, whether it's through our College of Business uh, Administration or, our, or the various other colleges, on helping people in developing countries improve their lives. The two groups hope to work together in the future. We got linked up through our activities in the Dominican Republic, which Water for People will be adding to its, the five countries it currently works in. And we hope to uh, find ways through the public health school. Water for People officials plan to expand its presence to 10 countries by 2011. For University Beats, I'm Mark Schreiner. For more information on this University Beats or to view previous segments, log on to WUSF.org and click on the University Beat link.